Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and I wanted to talk about the uh, Washington Nationals and I wanted to talk about I'm not really talking about the demise of the the Los Angeles Dodgers what I which I can get into but I want to talk about the uh, absolute stunning play of Anthony Rendon and Juan Soto and I actually didn't really think like they were gonna get through the Brewers I just thought their uh, playoff luck would just show time and again and the Nationals have had some of the worst playoff luck ever um, but I knew about the ta talent of Anthony Rendon, the third baseman, and you look at that right there. <laughs> and that's Anthony Rendon. And um, the left fielder, Juan Soto. And uh, really, I wanted to talk about the fact that these guys just single-handedly generate so much of their offense. If you look at, I believe this is the sixth inning, if you look at the sixth inning, and then you look at the 8th inning and the 10th inning. These two guys single-handedly win something like double, single, uh, home run, home run, double, and then a walk. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the order of it. And um, so in this, in this inning, you're going to see a, a run generated with, an, uh, with a single by uh, Juan Soto. And that'll make the score 3-1. to one. Then Clayton Kershaw comes in. Two home runs in a row. Makes it 3-3. Three to three. Then Rendon, in the 10th inning, hits a double, advances the man to third, only because it was a ground rule double where it got stuck into the wall. Otherwise, it would have actually scored a run. And then uh, they walk Soto because they're so afraid of him by then. And then all of a sudden, Howie Kendrick shows up and hits a monster blast and finishes off the Dodgers. And just basically, Howie Kendrick gets his revenge on the Dodgers. Uh, it's well known that his experience with the Dodgers wasn't that good, but this this video is more about Juan Soto and Anthony Rendon. Anecdotally, uh, Anthony Rendon is from Southwest Houston. He actually went to uh, Hodges Bend Middle School. Then he went to George Bush. I believe that's in Richmond. Uh, so he's from the Southwest side. He went to George Bush for two and a half years and then got transferred over by like a, on Westheimer um, over in... Um, to uh, Lamar High School, which has been just this year renovated a little bit. Uh, otherwise, you know, so, and oh, and then he went to Rice University. Uh, so he's a, uh, he's a native Houstonian. And uh, Anthony Rendon, if you look at this game in particular, him and Juan Soto went five for nine. Anthony Rendon went three for five. Juan Soto went two for four, plus a walk. So out of 10 at-bats, they got on base six times. This is almost like a warning to the Astros when we reach these two players, the middle of their lineup, I believe they bat third, no, no, I, do they bat second and third or third and fourth? When you get to like basically Rendon, Soto, and, and um, Howie Kendrick, the middle of the order, third, fourth, and fifth, you are basically need to watch out no matter who you're pitching. I know, uh, look at that. This was absolute no doubter. This whole sequence was no doubt from the beginning. If you watch this sequence from the first pitch, the first pitch, I believe, uh, if I, I have to look at it again, but I believe the first pitch was a slider, and then it went fastball, fastball. Uh, second fastball was out of the zone, and then I believe the last pitch was a cutter. Oh, here's the pitch sequence right here. Yeah, 88 miles per hour. Okay, low, low heat, high heat out of the zone, and that's a cutter right there. And you could just see his body language. From the first pitch, when he missed it, he looked at the pitcher and nodded his head. He was like, I can't believe I missed that. And he was just waiting for something over the plate again. There was a, Look at the body language on Kendrick. This is amazing. This is really just a warning to these guys. These, the, the middle of the order, I, it's so hard to predict in baseball. It's so hard. You look at these and you look at the matchups. On paper, the Astros are the best... You know, the best team in baseball. We're playing another Goliath in, uh, you know, the best slugging team in baseball. But when you look at the overachieving Nationals with what they've pieced together with Strasburg and Scherzer, these four pieces are so elite that they generate, just these two guys alone can generate three, four, five, six runs a game. Uh, at certain times. So this is something to be watched out for. Anyway, I wanted to talk about the Nationals a little bit. And uh, anyway, I'll save the demise of Clayton Kershaw for a little bit later. Anyway, hopefully you guys like my video and I will see you guys next time.